Hello, it's December 31st, 2018, and today's video is about a ride I took yesterday on my Indian Scout 60. Uh, I went out to test out the new Purple Panda microphone I installed with the uh, GoPro Black 6 that I bought. Um, just took a quick 12 mile ride around town and just to see how the microphone worked. Well, let's go to the video. I just rode over to the gas station. I just wanted to check out this microphone. I haven't had the bike out in almost two months. So hopefully this video is coming out okay. I'm just taking a short ride through Pipa, Northeast Pennsylvania where I live. Hopefully you can hear everything pretty good with this microphone. Over the exhaust and the wind and everything else. We'll see how it sounds. We'll take another little quick trip through town here do the best we can anyway see how it sounds today i'm fogging up a little bit it's like 32 degrees here in town so we had a little bit of snow last night but it all kind of melted away again but hopefully this video comes out pretty good and it was all well worth it for me to go through all the trouble and set this microphone up for everybody to watch my videos and See how things are ready to go for 2019 when I can actually ride a little ways. We'll just go back through town here again. Northeast is a really nice little town. We're kind of like a wine town. Everything's grapes here. We have Welch's grapes and everything and then we make a lot of wine. There's quite a few wineries in this area. Which is one of the things I like about it. But it's a nice little town. I get to ride through here every day and get gas on my 2018 Indian Scout 60. But I love listening to that Crusher Maverick exhaust. I think that's been a great addition to this bike so far. We'll take a little ride here. We'll go a different direction. I won't go the way I just came. Do a little uh higher speed stuff we'll do some 55 instead of some 35 or 40 like I think I was doing earlier it's only 35 through town here so but I want to hear how this 
microphone works at all speeds and with any luck it'll be great and I'll be able to do some real moto vlogs next year or real to me anyway if you listen to my bullshit no matter where I go and what I do on my Friday rides during the summer but we're about ready we're going about 40 right now it's only 35 through here but whatever nobody does the speed limit in town everybody around here either does 25 10 under or they do 10 over i don't think i've ever been behind anybody that's gone uh the exact speed limit in this town but let's get up to some higher speeds and see how she sounds just said this is the uh purple panda microphone I'm using I've got it tucked into the right right cheek pad of my uh, LS2 uh, modular helmet it is kind of a nice day out today Oop, going 65 it's only 55 this guy's slow I'll get myself over and out of the way helmet's kind of fogging up a little bit I got my vents all closed I might have to open it up again but I know you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me too good with the wind noise so but this is just a ride to test out the uh, purple panda and see how it goes. I have another microphone cord too, but I'm going to do this one first. This one's a little skinnier of a cord, so it fit in my cheek pads a little better than what I had. I think I'm going to have to open up my vent, so it's getting hard to see in the helmet. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. There's another one of our wineries. Actually, I think I want to take you guys down through uh, the little tunnel here on Gulf Road. I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to turn around and head back home. It's pretty cold. I got some layers on, but not quite enough to keep me warm out here today in this weather. And hopefully it's not icy and crappy underneath here. Let me see. It's potholes. fog myself make a little noise underneath there it might be icy I better not get out of it too hard sun don't shine in this butthole I mean tunnel ah. underneath the train tracks that's all we got around here is train tracks and great fields top of uh, 426 here in northeast got a nice view of uh, Lake Erie this is one of the spots I usually like to run out to when I'm out and about running haven't had the chance to do that in a while been having some knee problems and plus working on all the stuff around the house but I'll say I'm lucky to have this really nice area to live in just sucks when you have snow but at least we don't have hurricanes and you generally don't have uh, earthquakes at least nothing noticeable like out in california and stuff but this is a beautiful area apple trees we have some apples and stuff around here too new york's more known for their apples i think than pennsylvania the sun will come out tomorrow actually it's out right now about ready to go down in this cold ass town my fingers are cold already To show you probably one of the best views around I don't want to stop too long here I'm on a blind hill but there's Lake Erie over the vineyards this is absolutely gorgeous in the fall pretty foggy out today they said it's only 32 we had some snow last night but I don't think we're getting any snow again for a couple days all right hopefully nobody runs me over and we get going again Putting along out here still working my way back home it's too damn cold for this but at least I got her out one more time for 2018 can't see shit damn fog I have to leave the helmet open for now but it's a good way to test this microphone out I guess we'll see how it goes it's one of my favorite back roads I ride on all the time beautiful houses along the vineyards too
favorite areas to run and walk in up here. Again, you get to see the uh, Lake Erie, these houses, a lot of horses and stuff out here too. I don't know if the horses will be out today, it might be too chilly for them. But it's a beautiful view of Lake Erie. No, no horses today. Alright, go back over the highway here. town over that way we just did a loop through town out the main road and back down one of the side roads here Yeah, we're back in the scout shed. I didn't think I was going to be able to get in here. This shit all turned to ice right there. I fell just walking up the ramp here just to move stuff out of the way. At least I got the bike back in, but I guess that's it for now. We'll see how this video came out. I just did a little 12 mile ride around my hometown, Nipa. Bye for now.